do you think his work um, uh, can have its effect without the analytic process? Uh, there is the idea floating around that analysis is a form that might end. It's, it's something that grew up in the 19th, 20th century, and it might, might not go on as a way of doing things, the analytic process itself. I don't believe I that. If one, if one takes the analytic process as certain young pupils take it as a whole technique and an encounter with uh, certain payment regulations and all mm -hmm. these technicalities, transference, counter-transference, that, uh, that's all nonsense, but that was never what Jung meant. Mm -hmm. for, for Jung, analysis was a spontaneous encounter of two human beings, and I think that will always happen. Mm -hmm. Because you, see, you look in the Far East, the real wisdom has always been transmitted from master to pupil. That means always from human being to single human being. It's the only way to really transmit something. But there's usually a container of some kind, a form that holds you together. I think that will just vary. Uh -huh. It will just be different. Yeah. I don't know what form it might take or uh -huh. not take. I mean... Uh -huh. And then certainly uh, many of the ideas Jung expressed are what one would call in the air. And people yeah. find them independently of, no, without knowing Jung or reading Jung, they, by looking into themselves, come to the same conclusions. So to my idea, there are uh, thousands of Jungians in the whole world who have never heard the word Jung. But to me, they are Jungians mm -hmm. because they are based on the same experience and the same inner truth. They give it different names, and that doesn't matter. You, you can't really say that Jung's work represents just science, or science in the old sense, or that it's, it's not a religion, and yet, what is it I itself, the work that he did? Doesn't it somewhere live uh, on the border between those it's two? It's certainly beyond science if you take science in the sense of the 19th century mm -hmm. it's not a hard science mm -hmm. it's partly a hard science i mean the the doc doctrine it, you know, let's call it or the hypothesis of the archetype and mm -hmm. these things you can really prove with hard science with hard research mm -hmm. with hard research yeah. and you can anybody put it under everybody's nose and you can make experiments with it and so on so there is a bit of hard science in it mm -hmm. then there is an art because analysis is an art, is a skill. It depends on the personality, on, on the spontaneity of the personality. I would say that's much more something artistic or generally human. And then you can say, it, if you want a definition, I would say the closest to it is something like uh, the original Taoism in China, a kind of wisdom. Uh -huh. Not the Taoism who later became schools and, you know, techniques, but, but in the Lao Tse and Chuang Tse and so such people. That was a wisdom which has infinitely influenced China without having definite techniques. Mm -hmm. And I see Jungian psychology more parallel to that a bit. That's why it's not, a, it's not a religion and it's not a science. If you want a word, I mean, I don't like words, but if you want <laughs> to pin a word on it, I would say a kind of wisdom. Mm -hmm.